welcome back to my channel the Art. today we will be making a jasmine trinket tray and a trinket dish and i'm using these stems and this technique i have seen doing lillian and i will tag her uh, youtube account in the description and go see her she makes so many beautiful resin creations and also jasmineite so i was really impressed and i thought i'll give it a try and so i went to the hobby craft and bought some stamps for myself i have already many stamps but you know i have to try a new one so i like this peacock one and what i did here is i have taken 100 grams of liquid and 250 grams of jasmineite powder to which i'm adding yellow and blue to get the perfect shade of the pico green color so what i did here i just added two drops of yellow and initially i had to use around six to seven drops of blue and these pigments are from jasmineite themselves so here i'm just you know adding the color and getting the right so i have tell, told you already how i made it so the stamp is already in the mold and i'm pouring the jasmineite make sure you to mix your jasmineite very well and after that the tapping you know you have to do the lots of tapping so you avoid the air bubbles that are trapped inside so this takes a little bit but you have to do it it's an important step and in this trinket tray i already had some holographic pieces just aura and i'm sticking another st stamp inside So for this I added a bit of two around two drops of blue more just to get a contrast of two colors for the peacock theme. So this makes three drops now. And now fourth. So I was in a debate of doing a marbling effect or a plain one but ended up with doing with the plain one. So again the tapping and this time I got a bit more ambitious and my jasmineite board but that's fine it will be a very good trazo. So you get the grill that you have to do the tapping. It's really important. So this has been cured around, it takes around 25 minutes. So the white marks that are you seeing here will get disappear in a day because it's still wet. So here is the step, stamp and I'm really happy how the jasmine I didn't float it under the stamps and it's so clean. So it's removing the stamps now and this was a very fun part actually. Wow, so happy how it has stamped so perfectly. And those aura flakes really looked and that these were the extra jasmineite that I had for the leaves. So I just, when you are mixing jasmineite, baking a jasmineite thing, you need to have some extra molds around because it's always a bit extra. So what I'm doing here is I'm using a gilding glue, the papio that I'm use, I am used a lot. I'm just using it and I will rub it on the edges and will leave it to dry so it gets sticky. Make sure to have a very thin clean line, a clean layer. So after around I gave it a day so it got all dried up but now it's sticky and I'm using this cosmic foil on the edges. It has a beautiful color of copper, pink and gold, a very beautiful mixture of colors. So it will go well with the peacock theme. 
So what I'm doing here is I am random, randomly putting up the foil and when it will be filled up, I will brush it off. It's so satisfying to watch and do when it get all cleaned up. So we are done with the gold foil and now we are using some liquid gold to highlight the peacock and the writings. Just lightly, you know, have to rub it otherwise it will go everywhere because it's liquid. You need just enough to rub it in, that's it. it this is a really an optional step if you want to keep it plain and simple, it's really up to you. So on with the peacock, we have to give some royalty to the peacock, so gold is a perfect touch. So after doing the highlighting, I am using this wax to seal off the jasmineite. This jasmineite dish will be used mostly for decoration and just for putting small items like your little jewelry. So I am not worried about sealing it really well because there will, it will be in no contact with the water. So I am just sealing it with the wax and it's enough. And now what I am doing here is I am just adding a little mica onto the feathers of the peacock. And these are the final touches after doing this. It's all done. And I hope you like it. I really enjoyed doing this and doing this stamping technique in the test one night. And this is the final product. And I hope you like it. I did make something after a really long time in test one night, so it's re well, it was really fun. And if you did like this video, please do like, subscribe and share and leave a comment. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.